today uh, we are here build, uh, bringing on board stakeholders in Isiolo counties and trying to interrogate and assess how far we as first ones communities who are affected and you know uh, doing FGM. How do we come up with it? the recommendations, recommendations which are homegrown solution within ourselves as pastoralist community and especially now it is holiday time and we know they are sitting on time bone, time bone which young girls are at risk to undergo a female genital mutilation and even as you know the community also are changing the strategy. Most of them even they transfer their children from one county to another. Uh, going them to undergo, you know, FGM within even the knowledge of the children and even in the community which we come from, which are some gurus, where ceremonies are taking place in most of uh, these uh, long-term holidays that many of the girls are going to subject uh, female genital mutilation. So basically, we are raising a lot of awareness, making sure that our voice is heard, voice of young girls is heard, and making sure that even the law enforcer understand if young girls run to them. How do we make sure that effectively uh, they support that young girls through working with the police and making sure that these girls who are running away from female genital mutilation and even um, the women who, who have changed, mostly the reform cutters, uh, the women who also perform the FGM, that we also walk and talk to them because the majority of them currently, this is the time now they are practicing the livelihood, livelihood of female genital mutilation and you know even most of the communities here they've lost their livelihood so everybody is poor so uh, majority of the women are even now practicing to become cutters so that they can also have that money or that good that are being sold so a lot of work need, needs to be done and more collective voices need to be come together civil society reform cutters uh, teachers, children, police, and everyone, making that it's inclusive so that as we continue uh, agitating discussion around issues on gender-based violence, we make sure that we also safe girls and we end FGM in our community. Uh, as we know that female genital mutilation it has been going for a long time now, and they've seen that uh, behind the scenes it is men who push the women to force their children, their girls, to undergo female genital mutilation. So even in this project we are bringing men, young men on board and elders who are the custodians of the culture uh, to continue uh, this conversation and initiate so that young girls also are supported and they are protected as their fathers and their brothers and even supporting women who are standing up to say we are not going to subject our girls to female genital mutilation. So we want to become like a wholesome as women are pushing our agenda. We also bring other voices, religious leaders, police, uh, court users, judiciary, so that all of us are supporting these voices, critical voices in the communities, making sure that those women who are trying to change that they are supported and they are protected to the best of our ability in the name of ending female genital mutilation. Leo, to Kohapa, come to uh, 16 days of activism, Yakumaliza, Jinsia Kinamama. Pia leo tuko hapa kusungumza na washikadau tofauti tofauti tukileta ma chief tukileta na judges tukileta uh, small CBOs and county government tukiweza kuona ni nini tunaweza uh, jadiliana kama jamii wa wafugaji tukiongelea mambo ya uh, ukeketaji wa wasichana kwa sababu hasa wakati huu wakati eh, ni muda ile watoto wanafunga shule ni ile wakati kwamba sherehe zinafanyika na siku hizi kwanza wamechange unakuta kuwa wanatairisha msichana atujui so hii hii muda mrefu ndio tunaona tunataka kuleta mawazo yetu sisi wote tukiwa pia tunaleta wazee kwa sababu pia tunajua wazee wazee pia wana play critical role kwa hizi ni nini ya kekataja wasichana tunawaleta pamoja tunaleta pia vijana waweze kuzungumzia hili swala la kumaliza ukeketaji tuanze tu kusema hata kama wamama wanaongea sana sana ni wazee kwa sababu wazee ndio wako influenza na pia tunaleta hawa wakeketaji hawa wakeketaji pia ni wengine kwa sababu wanasema ni biashara so tunataka aje kuelewa hii biashara yao tutamaliza ipi na tutawaleta aje on board so that kama tunasema tunamaliza ukeketaji pia wao wawe mstari wa mbele ya kusema sitakeketeza msichana lakini pia tukuje pamoja kama county government civil society tuone hata zile pesa kidogo hata hizi hustle fund juicy enye ile launchua 
pia tunaweza apply hao mama wenye ni cutters na wenye ni reform cutters wawe na mabiashara waache hii biashara ya kukeketa wasichana so that tukisema tunamaliza ukeketaji sisi wote tunaongea pamoja tuweze kusaidia ule mtoto ana sauti ule mtoto mwenye ni mchanga ule mtoto mwenye ajui anatorokea wapi na anakuangalia na wewe ndio unamdhuru tena zaidi ukifanya ukeketaji uh, na pia hata kama tunaangazia hizi mila za ukeketaji pia kuna mila zingine na desturi yenye bado pia inaangamiza wasichana wadogo na wamama kwa jamii ya wafugaji na haswa kwa jamii ya wafu, ya wasambure nyenye mimi nimetoka kuna hii uh, swala yenye wasichana wadogo wenye wakipata mimba na wajakeketwa uh, jamii yetu inasema hawa watoto si watoto ni watoto yenye wanapatiwa majina majina yenye mbaya mbaya na sana unakuta hawa wasichana wana watoto wana wana subjectiwa into trauma kwa sababu aidha unafosiwa mtoto auliwe na asipouliwa unafukuzwa kwa hiyo boma uwezi olewa na hiyo kijana pia hizi ni dhulma ya kijinsia enye tunataka tuangazie na tunataka serikali ikuje mikakati kwa sababu uwezi sema msichana amepatwa amepaswa mimba amezaa huyo mtoto pia anakuwa outcast how we really need to condemn that na tunataka kama tuna celebrate 16 uh, days of activism na huyu mtoto amejikakamua amekataa kwenda go FGM sasa inafika mahali society jo amejifungulia kwa hospitali wanasema tutaku mtoto unless you undergo the female genital mutilation pia hisi itikadi na mila enye iko within us na atujui tunataka tuangamize kabisa kama tunaangamiza female genital mutilation ishe katika jamii zetu na pia mtoto ni mtoto na lazima tuangamize zote kwa njia yoyote wakati wa holiday watoto huwa wanatoka uh, these urban setups wanatoka Nairobi na kuru penye wanasoma isiolo na wanapelekwa huko mashinani kwa sababu uh, wanajua kuna ma familia ya mama ama ya baba wako huko so wakati waliona pande ya town kitu imekuwa so strict uh, wa, wa, wa me change tactics waliona wacha wapeleka watoto mashinani uh, under the pretense of uh, mtoto aende holiday aende ajuani na familia ya mama ama familia ya baba so hiyo ni sasa it is communicated prior mtoto akifika huko akikaa 3 days akatwe so the serikali ambayo wako huko wenye wako vijiti the chiefs uh, the ordered means uh, uh, the elders ambayo wako huko wanafaa kukaa macho ya kwamba uh, because tuko na hata nyumba kumi the setup of nyumba kumi ambaye wanajua ni nani amekuja hii uh, head bomb fulani ambaye it is under your control na mwenye ametoka so watoto wakikuta wanafaa kuangaliwa na wakue macho especially this long holiday uh, wakue macho hawa watoto wasi rumiwe hata kama wanaenda kutembelea wazazi ama kutembelea familia isikuwe ni excuse ya kukata hawa watoto kwa majina naitwa ke wako natoka organization inaitwa Pastoral Women for Health and Education mkutano wa leo ilikuwa sawa tulikuwa tuna deliberate mambo ya FGM na imesapotiwa na Samburu Women Trust na imeleta watu wengi the administration chiefs county government uh, na washikadau wengine na ilikuwa mzuri to deliberate on how we are going to end this FGM yes tulikuwa na many way forwards na recommendation na ile tulikuwa tunataka Samburu Women Trust wa ikazie na uh, waishikilie kabisa ni uh, involvement of men the fathers of these children who are undergoing cut and the uh, husband of these wives ambaye wana eh, wanafanya hawa watoto wafanye wafanyiwe FGM ndio wanafaa kuhusishwa kwa sababu uh, utakuta most of NGOs uh, development actors na other religious leaders yes they are propagating the information but on the ground things are different watoto wanaendelea kukatwa na watoto wengi especially this long holiday tunahofia watanda ku FGM kwa sababu eh, sisi huwa tunasema uh, wamama especially the pastoral community wakiwa wanafanya hiyo ukeketaji atuhusishi uh, wanaume Yes kwa process atuhusishi but ile kitu tunafaa kujua at the back of our mind is 
uh, that this man, akiwa the head of this household, akona se, akona se aseme hii mtoto akatwe. Na niambri yake ndo itaendelea. Ama asikatwe, but niambri yake tu ndo itaendelea. Uh, tuna, tu, tukona a lot of information through media, social medias, the local radios, mosques, churches. But hii kitu inaendelea kwa sababu utakuta, uh, Involvement ya men is a, a bit uh, out of the equation. Imetolewa out of the equation kwa sababu uh, ni kazi ya wamama, ya shosho, ya katas na hata mwenye anausika at that uh, juncture ni wamama. So mwanaume, uh, mama anaenda training, anapata information, anaambiwa how harmful the cutting is but mwenye tuna expect kuwe role model ama mwenye tuna expect kuwe ni mwenye ataeneza information ndio atakuta kukata mtoto wake kwa sababu had, uh, amri imetoka kwa mwenye nyumba inaweza kuwa atusemi uh, straight tuseme uh, baba ndio amesema mtoto wake akatwe but kuna amri ambaye it is above all this information ndio akikata taambiwa enda basi uolewe na hiyo NGO imekwambia usikate mtoto wangu enda basi uolewe na huyo eh, serikali ambaye alikwambia uh, usikate mtoto wangu so it is good uh, we come to consensus uh, at community level at village level and even at household level so tuna uh, tuna tunahimiza uh, Samburu women trust kwa hii process iweze kuhusisha wanaume at all levels not, not only cutting not only FGM but also the issue of domestic violence the issue of maybe family planning all, all things around namba ina ina inasumbua wanaume na wasichana tuhusishe wanaume ndio tuweze kukuwa na consensus at household level eh bila ninajua ama bila tunajua msimu wa likizo ambao ni mrefu na sisi tukiwa ni jamii ya wafugaji kiangazi ikiwa imeisha na kuna sasa wakati wa mvua inyesha e, kuna ile shiba ya maziwa na huwa wanachukua ya kwamba hii ndio msimu wa kufanya ukeketaji kwa wingi kwa hivyo ninahimiza wenzangu ama wazazi wenzangu tuwe makini at this time of the period of the year ama the, the time of the school ya kwamba is the highest time for the children to be Kaibo, tukue macho, sisi wote tungane pamoja, tuwane kwa kutangulima. Tukua ni tabu for me to talk about it. So, it takes long time for us to bring the change. Uh, with me, I find it's uh, better for us to speak out for those who are going through the effect, ili tumikutia, wakati wa marriage, wakati wa kuza, wote ni kumafiki yake, but we're not talking about it. Sia tetuji, but we fish out. But it's time for us now to speak out, to educate our children, the effect of it, and why they should not be cut. Uh, though it's a taboo for the community as a woman uh, standing in front of the people talking about it, but, uh, uh, with the civic education or in the environment of the organization, uh, thanks to the Samburu Women Trust for building us capacity for giving us strength, for giving us support uh, to speak out on behalf of the others and educating the others to talk about it. And I'm sure we are talking of uh, the body which is being used by many and by one of the stakeholders. It's good for us also to engage our men or our young men, the upcoming Vijana, for them to get used to talk or to, to do away with Ama to support the girls who are not uh, cut, uh, but uh, it has no harm. And they should come out also to speak out because this is their part, which is being used by them. You know, <laughs> as Africans, we can't even do that in but uh, it's good for all of us to engage men and the uh, elder people and the mothers of the girls all to come together and talk for us to bring that change. Uh, as we all know, uh, it's very difficult uh, for an African woman or an African lady uh, 
talking with those issues on the presence of men. But we should come out of that culture. It's better for us now to bring the issues on the table, we discuss, we brainstorm together, and then we discuss the challenges together, and then so that we can be able to find the way forward together. Unataka kufanya nini yodo? Unataka kwa expand business ni bai kagari ingine. Oooooooo! Sasa bro wacha ni kueleze. Kuna app inaitua VIP. Unaona sasa, ukiwana hii app. Ni app yenye inakusaidia kumanage busy yako. Sawe kamse wa taxi. Ukimanage transactions zako through VIP for the next 3 months. Unaweza get access to loan. Salai. Na pia, kulingana na design yenye unakopa na unalipa yyo loan. Wanaweza kupatia pia access to a better handsome amount ya loan. Unanipata ndugu yangu. Yeye nakupata hiyo kwanza iko very fine. Kabisa sasa download vib leo na we expand biz yako in the next 3 months. Au sio? Kabisa bana hata niweke. Sai sai.